Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop, my name is Blake. Today we're going to start with a boring revolution, our friend uh, focusing on everything that the boring company and he really recently made a great video comparing all of the different um, projects that the boring company has been rumored to take part in or is undertaking right now like um, the Las Vegas loop and stuff. So I'd highly recommend you check out um, this video of uh, Q2 report and there's a great breakdown of all of these projects, um, the cost per mile of the boring tube and you know just really good engineering and economic uh, project update for the boring company and uh, subscribe to the boring revolution on YouTube too. Um, next we're going to go back to um, the Hyperloop One news um, of their projected route in North Carolina. Um, this is just a tweet of the um, introduction of the um, of the Hyperloop route and um, they've gotten some press uh, from TechCrunch and um, I really wanted to focus though on the actual um, uh, kind of information packet that was developed I think by AECOM. Um, this is very similar to other um, AECOM produced uh, information packets of what Hyperloop is, uh, the project scope in uh, North Carolina, and what it might look like um, with right-of-way and portals and tubes and kind of giving a very uh, high-level um, information kind of, of what the project might look like. This is kind of a new visualization in Kansas City. We've never, I've never seen this, but it, it looks kind of like um, the the uh, uh, Dubai uh, portal um, where it's kind of above ground in a circular fashion um, you know and you know just kind of interesting we do then see more about the uh, actual example route um, and benefits um, and kind of how the speed of the Hyperloop um, would go and what path it would follow above ground and it is pretty circuitous I don't see any tunneling in this um, project scope. Um, so yeah, I would just highly recommend you uh, keep your eyes and ears out for documents like this from AECOM on other Hyperloop routes. And maybe one day I will have the time to make a spreadsheet like a boring revolution of all these different Hyperloop routes, the distances and uh, the completion and what, what phase they're happening right now because there's just so much happening. Um, so yeah, definitely and um, the Raleigh um, Regional Transport Alliance in North Carolina is also really hyping this as well, so that's good. Um, next, uh, MIT had a nice interview on CNN and on uh, Channel 7, I believe, um, in Boston, or Channel 5 in Boston, so I'd highly recommend you check that out. We just tweeted it out uh, for them. But um, now moving on to other SpaceX pod competition teams, um, Hyperloop UPV is finally in the US. Uh, congratulations, I'm glad everybody made it safe. Um, we're seeing more press uh, for sponsorships. This one I found kind of interesting where Tomb Hyperloop had um, IFL consulting engineers help out. Not really sure um, exactly what, but I guess they're project managers um, to work with stakeholders and the technical experts needed to realize the project. So that's kind of interesting. I never thought that you could get sponsorship from um, consulting engineers um, to project manage. Um, again, MIT Hyperloop has arrived uh, after their CNN article. Glad they made it. They must have arrived pretty late at night. Um, Edinburgh Hyperloop released this really interesting graphic or visualization, um, a simulation of the custom-made magnetic wheels that thrust uh, the flying podsman. Magnetic propulsion is the core of Hyperloop philosophy. So we can just watch it real quick. And that's pretty sweet. I'm not sure if other university teams, maybe um, Delft Hyperloop is also doing this kind of um, wheel-based engineering. I'm not exactly sure, but that's cool. Um, speaking of Delft, um, they uh, were able to get um, through one of their sponsors um, some space and they're really thankful. Um, for hosting them and uh, that's really nice uh, sponsorship opportunity. Swiss Pod, which is not a Hyperloop 
um, pod competition team it was, but then it's, it, they released this interesting photo um, or render maybe infrastructure that's in reach. Um, so that's cool and they're uh, proposing everybody go to their support us page, um, which is for investors as well as cool swag um, of reusable uh, cups and straws and water bottles as well as t-shirts and uh, naming rights for the pod. Um, which is something we haven't seen actually in a while. Um, we see other Hyperloop pod competition teams doing this um, uh, for naming rights of pods. Um, but again, for you know $50,000, you can adopt a pod or you can, or sorry, Swiss francs, which is approximately dollars. Um, and for $500 uh, Swiss francs, you can have your name on it. Or just for $10, you can plant a tree, which I really like, good job. Uh, Swiss pod for for having that um, next EPFL <clears throat> has released another uh, video day four so let's just watch it je m'appelle Elias Le Boudet je suis membre de l'équipe énergie hello moi c'est Max Chevron aussi partie de l'équipe énergie je m'appelle Enea Fizzini et je suis aussi dans l'équipe batterie de PF Loop la grande difficulté, c'est qu'on doit intégrer un système qui est composé par beaucoup d'éléments de nature différentes et de fonctions différentes. Donc, on, ça met beaucoup de temps, bien sûr, à trouver les raisons pour lesquelles ça ne marche pas, si ça ne marche pas. On travaille avec beaucoup de pression et très peu de temps pour, pour réaliser et pour atteindre nos objectifs. Le fait d'être 5-6 confrontés sur le même problème, réfléchir, I guess this pas is why you buy an outside consulting team to idées, help out with different teams and sub-teams and ce fait de travailler avec, sous, avec beaucoup de pression euh, peut poser des problèmes relationnels et des d'opinion qui peuvent créer des problèmes relationnels et qu'on n'a pas la vie de dire qu'on apprend ce qu'on apprend et qu'on essaie de faire notre mieux. C'est une bonne chose. Oui, vous n'avez jamais vraiment entendu parler de ça, mais c'est très... Ça prend beaucoup de temps de temps de l'université et... Vous savez, c'est comme un travail full time job, en plus de d'autres peut-être um, internships or research studies um, that all these university team students and graduate students are doing. So that good job. It's really a tough effort. This is Hyper Edinburgh Hyped. Um, they are assembling their pod again uh, and finalizing wiring and electronics to prepare for verification tests. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and they're literally out in <laughs> what it looks like to be a backyard of a Los Angeles home, so good job. Um, that's not easy. Uh, going back to Delta Hyperloop, um, who's been really supportive of bringing their pod and not photoshopping the pod in various locations as they've written in the comments on the YouTube channel here. Um, so good job Delft um, in kind of making the Hyperloop more accessible to regular people so they can see these pods in various locations. Um, so that's cool. Um, hype et, or sorry, Hyper, Loop UPV, um, Spanish team um, turns here and they're just bringing their pod out of the shipping container. Um, you know, it's really uh, working on these pods, especially in the last couple of years, it's been extremely hot in LA and um, usually they're working in dusty conditions um, and, you know, not exactly pristine um, spaces to work in. So good job, everybody just you know, making do with what you got um, under the hot LA sun. Um, another uh, Hyperloop team, not in this year's Hyperloop uh, group, but this is like maybe the second or third Hyperloop team from India, good job. Uh, and I'm not sure how to spell, say this, Infinale, uh, P-H-A, Hyperloop. Um, sorry, Infini Infinity Alpha Hyperloop um, is recruiting uh, for their team members. So if you're go to university there, definitely check them out. Um, and uh, EPFL, Hyperloop, uh, this is, we watched today's version and then we we're gonna watch yesterday's, or two days ago version uh, update. So how do you keep the team spirit high? My name is Lorenzo Benedetti. I'm the project coordinator for the EPF Loop team. My work is uh, mostly to oversight all the technical aspect, business aspect, uh, the team activities, and so on. 
it's surprisingly easy to make uh, this kind of group or this kind of people uh, believe in themselves. Because in reality, each one of them uh, is uh, a brilliant student, is capable of doing uh, amazing things, and uh, uh, they, they love what they do. It's a strong group of people, so it's very easy to, to motivate them back. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, um, and again, um, I would highly recommend you focus on uh, when you share your information about your team, you know, what have you learned? What, what have you uh, grown? Um, how has this personally benefited you? So this is really cool to see these kinds of uh, testimonials. And um, now we're just going to check out uh, some of the Instagram stories because the content sometimes differs. Um, Edinburgh Hyperloop, our, motor, our motor's finishing touches, uh, cheese plates. Yep. Um, whoops. And software and electronics making final uh, tests on communications with eight days or so, um, maybe seven days now, um, till testing starts. And those pretty complex batteries stay safe. Happy fifth anniversary to Urban Workshop. Um, so yeah, Edinburgh University is at kind of a co-working space um, called the Urban Workshop in LA. Um, what is Max thinking about here for EPFL, um, the beauty, um, their shell. That's a cool hanger that they're in. Um, Cali Poly Hyperloop uh, final assembly. That's <laughs> great. Um, tomorrow we drive to the competition, and other Hyperloop teams are driving. Um, like University of Windsor finally <laughs> arrived. Three, do it for the mask on three. Ready? One, two, three. Do it for the mask. Yep, getting spooky with carbon fiber. Um, Delta Hyperloop's releasing these really fun things, access anything, pi equals energy to the third. First, we cannot make assumptions like this since we're working with rather high accuracies, small time differences. Okay, um, ask us anything. We're doing everything to make time pass. Um, electric um, EMI problems. Um, we have encountered this problem um, phase and taken measures accordingly. Uh, live uh, stream during the final run will broadcast as much as the event as possible. The footage of the run itself will be available later. Um, which software are you using by McKinnell Engineers? Mostly CAD and FEM. Um, what's the max speed that the pod were? Aiming half the speed of sound at 617 kilometers per hour, but the actual speed will be discovered. <laughs> on competition day, that's crazy. How many important are materials? Selecting the right materials is extremely important and it determines the properties and thus the performance of our pod. Have you already met Elon Musk? Not yet, uh, but perhaps we'll meet him competition day. What inspires your team? The opportunity to contribute to the future of transportation by pushing the boundaries of technology and ourselves. Kantu uh, by, I don't know, Laura. Laura, she's doing great. She's doing fine. Um, none because we are using wheels, not magnets. Oh, what type, what magnet simulation software are you using? Um, so not, no magnets. Uh, what is your braking system? Uh, we're using pneumatic friction braking, um, also known as clamps. Um, uh, what are, uh, what levitation and propulsion mechanisms are you using? Since we're using wheels, the pod is not levitating. We're propelling using electric rotary wheels in the front there. Um, Katina, sponsored by Dassault. Um, why not use let it uh, magnetic levitation? Because we're limited by the SpaceX track length wheels can provide higher accelerations. That's interesting. Um, how do you cool your motors in near vacuum? Oops. Uh, we're not cooling them since it's a short test run. A cooling system would also add weight to the pod. That's a good point. Um, practice makes perfect. Indeed. So that's pretty much it from In the Hyperloop. Um, again, let us know what you think in the comments below and uh, good luck to all the teams in this last couple of days. And uh, don't forget to enjoy your time in LA and stay cool and stay in the loop. Bye-bye.